Well, I'm heading to Bozeman again today. And the reason is uh, I'm leaving off uh, the Viking bus to find out what it would cost to get that cast into bronze. Just so I can set some kind of a pricing uh, area for that piece. I'm going to leave it off, pick it up probably in a couple of days or next week. But anyway, um, they are putting uh, a bronze of mine together uh, somewhere a cowboy's walking. And uh, I just thought I'd uh, take my camera and see if I can't get a little video of them doing that. So we'll pick this up at the foundry, which is about a, oh, about a 60 mile drive, not too far. Well, here is where the welder at the foundry is uh, putting small pieces together, and, and none of these things are cast in one piece. So they have to weld everything that they cast separately. Uh, they have to uh, weld it back on and, until they have a hole, and uh, you know, a whole piece. And uh, what he's working on there is the uh, stirrup, it looks like. And adding that on there. What they do is they grind it with grinders and air, gu air grinders and stuff like that to uh, uh, match the texture around so you can't see where the wells are. These are the pieces uh, before they've been put on the base and uh, just sitting here waiting to be worked on. Yeah, it goes up. Turn it right up now. Okay, the rain, I think, goes up. And uh, if I can find the front guy. Yeah, it goes up and comes down that side a little bit. Okay. So he's basically holding it with the hand not seen. And then this one. Start with rain right there, I guess. Yeah. And uh, that one comes down a leg here. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. It, it, it's coming down right there. Yeah, yeah. And all the strap and everything. So he's coming up here on the other side, yeah. and it's coming down his leg. Oh, you can see it right there, I think. That's, is that it or? Yep, that's it. Okay. Sometimes the uh, metal shrinks and you have to bound, pound them a little bit to get them to line up with the uh, pudding. That's what it's going to look like when it's all put together. He just temporarily tacked it uh, together just so I can uh, get a video of it. But, uh, anyway, he still has all the reins. Ooh, that, 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 that was like fingernails on a blackboard. But anyway, just uh, to show you. That's it here for the foundry. Uh, the patina lady is uh, out uh, with some kind of illness. She was out all last week, out all this week, and probably won't be back until Thursday of next week. Scott is looking for somebody who uh, can do patinas, 
on bronzes who's looking for work. Uh, he's looking for somebody to uh, come in and um, do patinas here at the foundry. And uh, he's a good man to work for. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure what they pay or anything like that, but um, I will put information in the uh, comments, not comments, but uh, the uh, information area of this video on YouTube for you to contact uh, him. I'll put their website down there. He's uh, got feelers out on Craigslist and, and places like that. It's just really hard to find people that can do work like that or see what you guys can work out. Alright, I'm going to end the video today. I'm heading home.